Hey, what's going on everybody? Nays Ice Valkyrie. I am doing a weird vlog video. <laughs> I haven't made a recording in a very long time, so I said I'd probably maybe just update something because like I I was able to attend a convention um two weekends ago? Or was it last weekend? I can't remember anymore. I'm like losing track of time and it's crazy because this year is almost finished. It's almost the end of 2018 and it's going by so quickly. So I just wanted to make a kind of like a vlog or whatever like that to the experience that I had at this wonderful convention that I went to called KupoCon. Um, this is not the first time I've attended KupoCon. Uh, this is my second time actually and it, this time it took place in Toronto. So um, the first time I actually went was uh, their first attempt at the convention which was back in New Jersey. and. It was the most pleasant thing I have ever experienced in my life. It was a really great put together convention, so I decided, hey, what the hell, I will try it again, and I did. So, and it was very um, last minute decision on my part too, because I wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to attend another convention this year. As you, some of you have known, I've cut back on my conventions a lot, and I've also taken a break from the actual con scene and working and everything like that. So. Um, this time around I will not be um, doing too much of that stuff as of next year. So this year, basically, I just decided, oh, okay, I'm gonna try to put maybe some of my conventions on the back burner, and that's what I did, but then I decided to go to this convention, so I was like, as well, it's in Toronto, it's, it's in the homeland of Canada, so we're gonna do this anyways. So yeah, this is not gonna be a edited video at all, I'm just warning you now, so all this stuff that's gonna be happening here, there's no cuts, no nothing, it's just gonna be me blabbing about the experience that I had at KupaCon. And if you guys have never heard of this, please go and check them out, they're on Facebook, um, they're on, obviously they have their own website and everything like that, KupaCon.com, and uh, they definitely go to different places around the world, so if you've never heard of them before. They are a fan-made uh, convention and they are not endorsed by uh, Square Enix at all or anything like that. It's a complete convention to do with Final Fantasy, so if you guys are a Final Fantasy fan, this is definitely the convention for you because I, for such a small convention that only happens on one day, um, it definitely fills up your inner joy of, or your inner childhood of playing all these games anyways. So, to talk about my experience, uh, let's see, okay, well, obviously I've traveled far away, um, here from Montreal, so we had to travel six hours with a bunch of my friends that are living here all the way to Toronto, so our car ride was kind of an interesting one, I'd say the least, um, not naming names or anything like that, but we had two cars and we went there and it was kind of crazy too because, like, it was very hard to navigate with a GPS that wasn't working very well, so it was, um, telling us to go places that we definitely didn't need to go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, and also probably the fact that, well, I almost uh, got into a few accidents, unintentional accidents obviously, but um, some that were basically caused by the GPS, and yeah, GPSs are evil. <laughs> but anyways, getting there on the Saturday, because uh, we drove up on the Saturday and it took us six hours to get there, we got there about, mm, I was saying like later in the evening or later in the afternoon. And uh, where it took place was in the Hilton Hotel and it was downtown Toronto, which was really, really great place to have it actually located. <clears throat> I have to say that um, the hotel itself was pretty ritzy, which I, I expect as much anyways from Hilton because they're pretty, uh, pretty well organized there. Um, but yeah, like the actual location was a beautiful place. It was definitely better than where it was in um, New Jersey, no offense to those people that organized it for that section there. but. There was a lot more to do, a lot more to see. There was a lot of restaurants, which was great. Um, there was uh, definitely, we were located next to Chinatown, which I'll talk about later. But uh, yeah, on Saturday, we basically, um, we took our time. We just uh, decided to get like settled down and stuff like that before the actual convention started. We had to do some repairs to our wigs and stuff like that for our group, which our group was planning to do two different special, or actually three different special things. We were kind of divided in the sense where, um, as you guys can see in the overlay here, uh, we were doing an FF8 um, group, and unfortunately a few of our people that were supposed to originally come had to bail because of like life's necessities, which was like work or um, family obligations or even school for the people that were still at school. And we miss them for that, honestly. It would have been so much better if they were with us, but unfortunately, life is 
the way it is. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have probably photo shoots and stuff like that in the future with them, with their deal with our costumes and whatnot. Because yeah, it was it dressing up in FF8 characters was definitely something different that I never imagined to do. Because <laughs> FF8 wasn't my strongest Final Fantasy. I, I did enjoy the game growing up, but it's just I don't know. The trial system just got me, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, back to the actual thing itself. Um, we, yeah, on Saturday, we basically, we went out for ice cream because uh, one of our uh, friends, um, I'm trying not to drop names here because I don't know about the privacy with their, their lives and everything like that, but one of them suggested to basically go to this ice cream place. It's only in that area, and hopefully we can get them maybe back or in Montreal soon. Um... And it's, uh, I'm now I'm trying to remember the actual name of the place. Give me a second, guys. I'm just going to get my, my phone. <laughs> I'm totally not prepared for this at all. Because um, we went to this ice cream place, and basically it was to do with... It was like a Japanese, um, Japanese thing. I'm just going to get the picture here. That's not it. Uh, Taiyaki, that's it. Uh, basically they make pictures- oh no, not they make pictures, they make ice cream <laughs> that's inside of this, like, um, this fish. Then the fish, it consists of a uh, red bean paste or, um, custard-like stuff inside of it at the bottom, which is really good. I'm just gonna try to put this here, I don't know if you guys can see it here. So I got, like, a unicorn one, which was really cute, and, um, it was like a matcha ice cream, which was really good, too, but they had all these different flavors, but anyways, that's, that's basically what we went for, for, like, food-wise, and then we also tried this other, um, kind of new cafe place or something that was also interesting to use, called Zen Q, I think it's called. Anyways, it was very, um, the food was very sweet, uh, more on the sugary side, even though as you would expect it to be salty. But that's, anyways, that's what we had, and it was, we enjoyed ourselves. It was great. There was like a bunch of different people that had bubble teas and stuff like that, which is really cool. The dining in Chantal and whatnot. It was, it was great. Um, yeah, so that was her Saturday. We just spent doing that. Obviously, we were preparing our costumes for the next day because we only had one day to actually do it because it's just for that convention. But yeah, we took our time. And on the Sunday morning, because the convention was on Sunday, which is <clears throat> different from usual scheduling for conventions. Usually conventions are either four or three days activity and not just one day. Um, this is what makes it so much different, KukulCon, from the rest of the conventions I've ever been to. Um, so, yeah, on Sunday we woke up a little bit later though because we were tired. I am still battling the cold, if you can hear it in my voice. I'm still coughing, I'm still... Ugh congested and stuff. I wasn't exactly 100% that weekend, which didn't really help, um, especially for the evening thing that we had to go to later. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we got up and um, we took our time and we were obviously trying to pack ourselves with coffee and whatnot to actually get our energy up in the day. And uh, we, we started getting ready, put on our, our costumes and everything. Um, I will name drop here, which is uh, Sweets, uh, one of my friends who's doing a Squall costume. So we <laughs> to do that. I was dressed up as a uh, Yuffie, uh, not Yuffie, sorry, Selfie. God, I keep messing that up. I'm so sorry. They're so similar and they're so ditzy, the characters. Of course, like, it was kind of a last minute thing again because, like, I usually. It's funny because whenever there's, like, some kind of group, like Final Fantasy Wise or whatever else, I always usually get the ditzy character or the annoying one. So when I decided to do Selfie, so I was just like, okay, well, I have the wig for it. I can totally do this. And. It's not too difficult to actually make the dress, and then, yeah, I realized afterwards, I'm like, wow, I made the dress so huge, I'm gonna have to take it down a bit, and, cause, like, I, anyways, body changes and stuff, women, you understand, and, anyways, um, so no, I put it on, and it was great, and it was fantastic, I don't know if I can actually just, uh, probably bring up some photos, uh, I probably won't, but anyways, you guys can check those out on my Instagram, which is, um, you just search for Ice Valkyrie, uh, 7 on Instagram, and I will definitely be posting a whole bunch of different stuff on there, I also will be posting these Kukogon pictures on the actual, um, <clears throat> community page, They're, they should be there already for Kukogon, so if you go to the community group for Kukogon, they should be posted there already. Um, there's also the pictures that I probably will start posting on my actual Facebook uh, fan page uh, so if you guys haven't already checked it out look for Ice Valkyrie 
Um, I should have an old profile picture of me with like, I think I was wearing Legend of Zelda Nehru costume. But anyways, I, I need to update everything because I haven't touched my stuff in a very long time because of like, body weight issues. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess we'll leave that for another blog, but yeah, anyways. Um, but no, uh, the convention we wore our FF8 costumes, which was really cool. Unfortunately, some of our people didn't make it, so we were missing a few of our, our people, um, our costumes, because they couldn't finish them on time, unfortunately. Uh, we were missing our Quistus, we were missing our Irvine, we were missing Roselle, we were missing- Like, basically, who we did have, though, was, um, myself, uh, Renoa, Squall, and, um, I think- we had a Laguna though, we did have a Laguna. The person that was supposed to be doing um, Quistis changed to a Laguna because she was able to actually get into that and it was great and we actually had like a kind of like a four party thing going on, which is really good. Meanwhile, our other friends in our, our group also were doing um, FF Tactics, which was really cool too. So we had a, a split in genre of different types of costumes, so it was just really great and I actually really thought that was really cool. So yeah, we went downstairs, because it was in the hotel that we are staying at, and uh, yeah, we just went to go enjoy- uh, bleh, I can't even speak. We went to go enjoy ourselves, basically. I didn't first have a, um, um, a scheduling, because I totally missed the opening ceremony. I heard it was really spectacular, so I'm glad that uh, the people who did go with us, and who was our- <coughs> who was our friend who was taking all the videos and stuff that weekend, if you guys didn't see his videos that he posted in the community, I'd definitely recommend them. Um, cause he did a lot of really cool, crazy, like, photography, video edit things that are really awesome, uh, with his, his cool technology stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, so we went downstairs and we went to go check out a little bit of the market first. I, I was kind of, like, a little bit overwhelmed because of so much stuff that was happening. Um, the main attraction that we actually decided to do was that... Kukuhan has this amazing thing where they have this booklet and it's full of different types of like quests and stuff that you had to go on which is really like the highlight of like my convention was basically going out and doing all of these different quests so I'm just gonna try to get the book anyways because like, I got I dropped it somewhere. Okay so yeah so here's this booklet if you guys don't really know about, but like the first time they actually did it. Oh, I had another. Okay, interesting. I'm finding new things in my book as I go along, but come with like a whole bunch of different stuff. Like I had a package, anyways. Um, each person can buy different ticket holder, whatever stuff, and you get really cool items with it. So you get the, you get this, um, this book. Whoops, I'm holding it wrong. This way, <laughs> you get this book. I I ordered actually the um, avalanche. <clears throat> tickets, so I got a bit more stuff than the usual people. Mine included was that you got this you got this really cool lanyard Which basically indicated and showed to the people that you had gotten like a free signing and stuff like that or a Priority signing and stuff like that. And then I didn't even open this yet. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna open it now It's a t-shirt from the convention too as well. It's all wrinkled though because Yeah and, and it smells like vinegar too, guys. Oh, you know it's freshly pressed when it actually has vinegar. So I'm just gonna put that back in the bag. I didn't realize how much that smelled like vinegar. I'm so sorry. Um, and then you get like this really cool tote bag. With the Kupacon. And then you got also this um, Generation 3 bracelet. It's got like, well, you can't really see them on camera here because it's like, anyways, it's engraved. So you got all that. And then some people, I think I got like a, a crazy cool pen too that came with it and whatnot. So that's what that came with. And of course, um, if you guys were meeting the meet and greet and stuff like that, you had to get your like whole punch card thing and also a masquerade token, which I totally forgot to give to somebody who really deserved it. And yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that they were able to determine uh, who the winner was despite my stupidity of not actually giving anything out. So yeah, this was like our kind of like our actual official ticket type thing inside there. Um, but back to the booklet. The booklet itself is interesting though too because that's it. It tells you all the different quests and stuff like that as long as and also like the social media stuff and whatnot. Um, all the different given rules of the convention. And this is what they're talking about which is basically the active time events which are the quests that happened. Um, during the actual convention itself. Well, my camera's going crazy here. Um, so yeah, anytime you're going to do something, um, 
you basically got stamps put into your book once you claim this actual reward. So when you do that, they give you gil for it. And when you get gil, you can buy prizes. So there's different quests and whatnot. And I, I, I seem to have filled up quite a bit of my stuff by the end of it, but you had to do different quests during the actual convention itself. Some of the stuff was hard, harder than the others. You had to be patrons or something like that, or like, um, but my favorite thing though was the actual space for um, <laughs> this taking selfies with your different convention characters. So there's, it gives the opportunity for people to actually cosplay. And depending on which uh, version of which um, character costumes here, you got different points that are associated with it. So, and I'm just going to use this as an example anyways, if you could see Cloud here, but there's also the um, the wonderful thing here of cross to sing Cloud at the bottom. I'm, I have a story to do with that because um, originally one of my friends that was supposed to come here, she couldn't make it and her costume was exactly that, the cross-dressing cloud. And then I decided that I was going to borrow that costume and use that costume to wear the evening. Now during the convention itself, we didn't realize that this was a thing until we actually saw that it was one of the higher percentages for this actual um, quest. And I had people ask me, do you, do you want to switch out of your selfie costume and, and, and wear this? And I said, no, I'm, I'm I don't think so because I don't want to get rushed by tons of people. Um, I didn't think it was a good idea because I, I really did not want this crowd of people like rushing me and, and trying to get photos of me. So instead, we took one of our other friends that we saw at the convention who didn't have a costume and we decided to put her in it. And if you guys saw the photos that were on the community page, it was... It was crazy. Even my friend Min who posted the video afterwards showing how insane it was. I'm so glad that I- I'm so sorry Marie, but I- I'm so glad I didn't do it because I- I really would have been toppled over. But you saw me anyways in that video in the background just watching and laughing because it was too funny what happened with that. But yeah, so that's the story behind that. I did, however, wear that costume later in the evening, and you guys can see the evening photos that are posted again on different places, my social media and stuff like that. So that's that's great what happened with that. Yeah, there's different quests and stuff like that. You had to take pictures with different people, and that really actually helped you engage with other people that were there. Instead of being such, well, as in the book that it says not being like loners and stuff like that, or people who are hermit crabs, basically like myself. We actually got to go out and talk to new people and meet new people and and just comment and and um, I don't know compliment people on their costumes and whatnot. So it was a great way to interact with other people by taking these selfies together with them for this quest. So I thought that was a really good job on KupaCon's part. Definitely bring it back, but like I probably switch up the characters a bit more. Um, a lot of people were thinking that my costume selfie had an actual um, quest, which would have been cool, but. Of course it wasn't. It was kind of mentioned in the book, selfie with selfie with the quotation marks, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so we did all of that and it was really cool. And then there was also the actual events during the convention too, which were, um, there's different rooms that were laid out, which had different things. So you had the one with the actual getting the gill and stuff like that, and you can buy the merchandise and much not. Well, speaking of merchandise though, I did kind of go a little bit crazy with it. I <clears throat> did buy myself a few things because I I I had to I really did it, like the advertisement beforehand I was just like I'm sold on a few things I'm t definitely gonna get it but uh, I came back this is one of the things that I really enjoyed was the fact that I, I bought myself a brand new backpack because um, I need one for work and I definitely thought this was really cute and Plus on top of that, I'm going to be putting one of my patches that I got from SGDQ a while ago. So definitely is going to be fitting the theme once I actually put that on there. I have no idea where I put it though because I have tons of stuff on here. Anyways, I do have another patch that has like, um, yeah, I don't know what the hell happens to that. Anyways, and then I also bought like art stuff too though. So if you guys can see this, it's like, yep, I got those at the arts. So I got those, I got like some tripod powers though, I pretty much almost finished my first gen, but was, um, I didn't realize that there was other generations for cards, so that was, that was insane. Um, 
What else? I got a whole bunch of different things. Oh, also this is really cool. One of the artists, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't shout because I don't remember everybody's name. But anyways, this is the anatomy of a Mughal, which is really cool too. So I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome. Um, oh yeah. This is probably like another highlight of the actual convention itself. The kazoo. The kazoo guys. The kazoo. Um, <laughs> I won't do it on here because it'll sound really weird. But anyways, just the memory of going into one of the rooms during one of the um, events that was happening. Was full room full of people. You guys saw the photos for that and videos and whatnot. We did one wing and angel with the kazoo, which is insane in itself. We were basically orchestrating it just with kazoo. So that was... That was magical <laughs> best moments ever guys <laughs> seriously um okay so what else did i get i also got the autographs from the the guests i had to stay in line for i think i stayed in line for about an hour so it's a pretty good wait time for somebody like myself is pretty dedicated that i got to meet the guests that was crazy it was it was pretty awesome unfortunately i didn't really get to finish my ff15 game yet because it's really long and i have no time to finish it but i i knew enough who they were and whatnot so it was it was fine um it was really great to see them out there and enjoying themselves at the actual convention itself so thank you very much guests for coming out and um and celebrating and helping us grow as a community as a ff community you know that's that's just the way it is it's it's, it's great for everybody to connect like that um, what else? I'm trying to think of like all the other stuff. Alright, so this is a really cool thing. It was a 1k gill that we can get. It's exclusive. KubaCon. That's really awesome because it's definitely a collector's item. I see a lot of different conventions and stuff like that doing that lately. Excuse my bra strap. Um, a lot of them are actually doing this whole like money system or guild system or whatever like that, creating their own currency and whatnot, but this is really just like a unique item to actually get and it's it's a fantastic idea, I have to say. Um, you did definitely either had to purchase it at the actual convention at the merchandise table or you could actually get it with um, the <clears throat> excuse me, prize money that you're collect collecting from all those different uh, quests that you had to do. Although you had to have a lot of it, so there's that. But the quests are fun, so <laughs> I have no complaints there. Um, yeah, so the convention itself was really great. Like, I mean, we had the merch, um, like, artist tables and stuff like that outside in the actual, like, kind of lobby area, which is really fun. I got to actually see the different kind of art stuff. I didn't go crazy with it, though, unfortunately, because I do have too much stuff, like, already. Um, but I just got, like, little things, like you saw, like, the little um, keychain that I had there. And, uh, yeah, especially with Radia, because I like Radia. Um, and then there was, uh, the different rooms, like I said, you can go into this one room that actually is giving, um, I think it's to do with the app, one of the apps with Final Fantasy that you get to play and everything like that. There's also, like, a table for, um, different history books and stuff like that to do with Final Fantasy as well. One of them was obviously part of the quest line, but... I got to actually take a look at it and see like different like histories and stuff like that of the actual adventures and stuff like that. It was really cool. Um, there was also uh, the tripom cards. I didn't actually take part in that because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with that. So unfortunately, you know, I didn't really take part in that, and that was um, kind of bummer on myself. I should teach myself how to actually do that, even though I'm just collecting. I'm a collector. I'm a card collector. So that's that's what that is. Uh, what else? Yeah, there was, there was only little little rooms that actually took place in and so it was just very much in that one space and they got to actually like meet new people and whatnot like that and have a great time with your friends and stuff like that. It was very small, but it was enjoyable. Like I've never had, I don't know, that much fun like just within one day small convention, which was really cool. Anyways, that evening on a Saturday, we obviously went back and we went to go eat first because we had to go eat. Make sure you guys eat though during convention. It's very important so you don't end up fainting. We've had some situations in the past where people actually fainted. So make sure you guys do that. But anyways, we went back. We ate. We got changed into our evening costumes. Of course, I was doing drag cloud. Which was uh, different from my usual style of costumes. Um, surprising to say the least that I actually looked pretty decent. So it was okay. <laughs> But yeah, and then it was, of course, my friend Sweets was doing, um, we were doing, um, the wall market. So our other group was basically, or our 
evening group was supposed to be doing the wall markets and unfortunately that's it we lost so many of the people that were supposed to be doing it we were supposed to have the honeybee in girls we were supposed to have don Ponella. we had this huge plan to do it and unfortunately that's it time constrictions and stuff like that kind of got in the way and we didn't get to do that so that was kind of it was um we made of it what, what, what we did you know um but Regardless, like, you know, we had a really great time in the evening and everybody was having a great time with the conga line, which is insane. All the different kinds of um, little games that they had during it as well. Uh, a lot of alcohol was involved. <laughs> I definitely was drinking myself, so it was, it was pretty decent. We took some, a lot of photos. There's a lot of photos of us. Uh, uh, I can't speak. A lot of photos of us online, anyways, in our group for that. And um, a special mention to one of our um, friends that dressed up as Kate Sith. She was handing out little um, lucky fortunes or unfortunes, as I call them. Uh, we, I took the time to go out around the convention with her to actually hand out these these fortunes to the people, and the people actually enjoyed them. So it was good to actually have something extra to um, to add, because uh, as you know, Case Sith in Final Fantasy VII, he's supposed to be like this fortune teller at the gold uh, the gold saucer. So <laughs> she did that, which was really awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust myself here. Um, no, she, she decided to do that. So it was pretty cool. Like we actually ended up having to do like a small event thing ourselves, which was really great. Um, and then the rest of the evening, basically, I started getting, <clears throat> excuse me, I started getting a little bit more tired and sick because of the cold I was battling, but I didn't get to stick around for too much longer. So I decided to retire to my room earlier. But I was glad to hear that a lot of people who have never been to the convention before, one of my friends, Jet, and anyways, um, her sweets, dressed up as Tifa, she had a really great time, which was really great too. So I'm really glad that we're able to enjoy it. Also, shout outs to um, a few people actually that were <laughs> at the convention that I hadn't seen for a very long time. Um, I, I actually, I follow this cosplayer, uh, Kudrel, um, she's uh, from, Ottawa apparently I found out on that weekend but anyways I follow her usually on Facebook and she was there that weekend and we actually like stood in line together for, for a long time for uh, the autographs and then later got to see her at the evening party too as well so that was really cool and um yeah I don't know of too many other people that I hadn't seen for a while that actually showed up at the convention um other than the ones that were already hanging out with us which is which is practically great right you know excuse me my pizza <clears throat> excuse me coffee break yeah I'm a Cheshire kite <laughs> I was like this is totally not in theme right now <laughs> um but yeah anyway so that was basically it I'm probably missing out on stuff but there's a lot of things that did happen during that convention I don't exactly want to recap because of the fact that this video has been going on for a long time anyways but anyways, that's just all I have to say about this convention and how wonderful it is. And if you guys get the chance to actually go to this convention in the future, I definitely recommend it. I believe the next one is in Glasgow or something. I can't remember. Anyways, it's it's in England so or the UK. And uh, yeah, if you guys have the chance to do it, definitely do do it. If it's back in Canada again, I'm not sure yet because I know there was speculation about it. If it was going to be brought back to Toronto or not. I think maybe, and I'm hoping this is just gonna be um, right, but they also mentioned that it might also be in Montreal. Now I'm crossing my fingers for that because if it is, it's gonna be local for me and I will definitely be there 100%, maybe even help out, I don't know. I have no idea yet. But if you guys do, and if you guys are watching this, um, if you guys do come to Montreal, I definitely recommend it. Our city is very lively when it comes to cosplay community as well as Final Fantasy, so definitely consider bringing it here if you can um and i'll definitely <laughs> lend my body for that if, if you guys need volunteers for it too so anyways um that's it for me when it comes to all of this wonderful um engagements and stuff like that but i will be again live streaming hopefully again soon with different things probably not final fantasy related i'm not sure yet though i still have to play my world of final fantasy on my switch and now that smash has come out i don't know like i don't play smash but a whole bunch of people are playing smash so that's one of those crazy things anyways my name is Ennis Valkyrie thank you very much for joining me and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video and please feel free to comment like and subscribe on my videos as well as to check out my social media on Facebook
Twitter, or Instagram. Anyways, take it easy, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye.